Hello, fire signs. You are up. It is your shadow of judgment. What is shadow of judgment? This is where we look at all the nooks and crannies that we can't see behind the scenes, the dark secrets, the things that people think, the little backstories and backgrounds and working behind of the scenes. We've already did the other signs. You guys are actually last for once. Surprise. <laughs> so Aries, you're up first as always. Boop, the levels. And Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Also Gemini over here as well. Could be dealing with a Gemini who's just, is like, mm, you're too much work. <laughs> I could easily hear that. It could be with a Gemini. Could be a love situation here. I'll tell you what, man. I tell you what. What are the other cards I'm supposed to have? Oops. Oh, separation, martyrdom, wasting time. Ah, this person is just flat out like tortured. Looking back at all of this breaking up and such, um, someone is wanting a reason to stick around for this relationship. Possibly dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I don't know how I skipped those two, but that's okay. That is actually not a problem at all. Because if I wasn't supposed to do that, it would not have happened. That is how it works with me. All right, Aries, let us see with you, with your shadow of judgment, okay? So we got the lovers here. Someone's kind of wasting time with their little love proposal and causing things not to work out. But all of this is under wraps just because the high priestess is here. Someone might even come out to say this after stewing on all of this too. So it could be you keeping secrets behind the things and, you know, you're just binding your time before you actually start talking about this stuff, right? So keep that in mind. But something didn't work out here, either with a third party situation at work or all your co-workers were just trying to see how far they could get you pissed before like boss saw it or like someone tried to embarrass you, which I think would go the same way as if you tried to blackmail a Capricorn. I think you would just laugh in their face and do something to embarrass yourself first before you, you would allow them to get to it. Like a Capricorn would just kill the blackmail right there and just be like, I did this. They're trying to get money out of me. They need to go to jail. If I'm going, they're going to. You know, that's how a Capricorn would be like, you know, if I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the captain of the ship and I will sink this motherfucker just to watch you drown. You know, you, you kind of got to drive as much as Capricorns do sometimes, Aries. Now, there is a love relationship that somebody walked away from because I feel like they didn't want to offer anything after nothing worked out. And this Queen of Swords up here, very decisive in her actions, but still mentally tortured, looking back at this separation. Queen of Pentacles, um, Taurus Cancer, Tor what? Cancer? Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, right? Um, could have been an unfaithful spouse. I don't feel that, though. I feel like this is somebody who demands a bunch. This might have been somebody who is like, um, a moocher on you like they have their own source of money or it could be you having your own source of money and this person just became greedy all of a sudden it's just like you can take care of me for a little bit now there is some recovery in this heartbreak with what's going on someone trying to recover from it this is page pentacles too so she could have came in being immature about how she wanted this offer to go. It was just kind of like, why are you, like, you know, here, I brought this pentacle. Why didn't you bring the one that you have when you're queen of pentacles? Well, I like that one. Well, we need that one to finish this project. Why didn't you bring yours? I don't have a pentacle that belongs to a queen. You are the queen. Why are you bringing shitty pentacles? You know, this isn't going to work. Let's just call it the project. You know, it was kind of like that kind of thing where, like, Whatever would have been offered was shit, and whatever was kept was just unfair as fuck. And, that, and like, people need to recover from this situation. Whoever this person is definitely needs to recover. But in the background of all this, 
the High Priestess will come down with some information. At least enlighten you on some sense of pretty much why this all transpired, I feel like. So that was your Shadow of Judgment. Leo, it's your turn. You come here. Let's see your Shadow of Judgment, darling. Let us see. Shadow of Judgment for Leo. Oh my god, my cards are so bent up. Ugh, I hate that. Let's see. Leo, what's your Shadow of Judgment? We got Ace of Swords. You got some clarity. On a wish fulfillment. Now, there's something that isn't beginning, and there's something about the home going on. Maybe a pairing that you're with, right? Connection you have, a lover you might got, health, your dog, anything. Could be your fucking toe. You could be in love with your toe. You have a spiritual connection with that toe. You love and give spiritual strength to that toe. Whatever it is you choose, man. Although I don't think... I don't know if Leos are very spiritual. I know my husband, he's a Leo, so... Not entirely religious. Ew, wanting to come together. Mm. Now, this new beginning, you kind of got your guard up to it. This is like walking away from something you love. Like giving up on something. Now, you're having patience over here with your wish fulfillment. Someone literally took like a Perfect Circle's like passive song and ripped it. That's terrible. Ah, uh, but no faith really being taken in it. Like you're not starting something new and you're keeping your guard up because you don't want some enemy in your house. What? what the fuck is going on with you, Leo? Ooh. Someone had some sneaky shit going on. Terrible headspace. Wanting to give out new offers. Something not coming to an end, though. Leo, your shadow. There's some clarity about some sort of connection you have here that you I, possibly walked away from that's keeping you in a mental bind. And it's like you don't want to start something new because you feel like it's letting somebody come against you or a bunch of people coming at you that you really don't want. Now, there is some wish fulfillment. I feel like in either peace or calm, but there's some leap of faith or there's something you're hesitating on that deals with making an offer to the people you really don't want to deal with. And it could be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo or someone could be making an offer to you as a Capricorn Taurus Virgo that you don't want to take a leap to. Um, and here's Scorpio right here saying someone hasn't changed their ways. Someone isn't, the situation has not died the way someone thought it was. I feel like you want to reconnect with this person a little bit, or whoever you're dealing with, because it does have you in a mental bind, but it's like, it, it, it's like, if you do go about to make this offer this coming week, Leo, um, it's like you find out things are still the same. Like it, it, like like you're like almost like you'd be surprised. I feel like not surprised in oh my god, I can't believe nothing's changed at all. Fuck, more like um, you're just kind of it's not a shock. I can't find the word to describe it, but it's like, if you make this offer in order to alleviate yourself, it's like, the answer smacks you right in your face, why it is you possibly had the idea to cut this off in the first place, and it's just like, oh yeah, this is why I did this, why did I think things were going to be different, kind of thing. Kind of like a kid or a parent leaving their um, home for the first time. Being like, oh, maybe I do miss living at home. And then they go home for a month, and then it's just like, why did I move? That's why I moved. Because my parents are, are, are crazy. They keep collecting lizards, 
and duck eggs. Not normal duck eggs, those thousand year duck eggs that taste nasty, that the LA Beast eats sometimes. If you've never watched the LA Beast, go watch him, because he is a talented man with an iron stomach, and I worry for his health all the time. <laughs> all right. Sagittarius, it's time for your shadow of judgment that I'm passing the fuck out and going to bed. Because I got another double to do. But I will still do readings tomorrow, so no worries. So, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on with you. Listen to that flowery music for your week. Listen to it. Oh, that's so inspiring. The moon's going to be in Jupiter. In not no, the moon's gonna be in Sagittarius. Right. Everyone's gonna be excited, going to extremities, getting their shit on. Yeah. Let's see what's going on with you, Sagittarius. Ah, yeah, yeah, you might be being a dick. Okay. Ah, just to avoid this. Okay. <laughs> That's acceptable. That's acceptable. It's your time. <laughs> well, technically not really. We're about to go into Cancer season soon. Pretty soon. Ah. Not happy about something. Something didn't end the way you wanted it to. Yeah, I already called the unfairness thing, but okay. Or you feel like someone wasn't fair to you. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Hold on. I think I got the pick. I think I got it. Just give me a second. Okay. So! Sagittarius, your shadow, over here, we're gonna start off. There was an avoidance of the tower in the past. No, 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 I take that back. Because this is not what it's saying at all. Jesus Christ. Like, that music is actually really intense. Oh, are you done? Okay, that's great. I'm glad you're done, music. Let me, like, look over this in peace a little bit. Um, King of Wands up here. I feel like he acted very unfairly with who he was giving to, because he thought, oh, well, if you have something, you deserve nothing. Bitch, worship me. <laughs> and, um, made an offer somewhere. Or tried to make an offer in a situation where there was an unhappy ending. Or someone wasn't emotionally satisfied. And became very decisive and made a decision to become selfish. But they're keeping that a secret. Like, they made an offer. Well, no, they're coming out and saying this. Like, they made the offer. It was slow and steady after all this time. And it's like, they made the offer because they were unhappy and this decided to be self- They weren't happy being selfish. It wasn't emotionally fulfilling to be selfish. They decided, but it didn't help because they still became it. You could be dealing with the Scorpio as well. I feel like this side is saying, like, the tower could have been avoided in the past if something was worked on. I feel like... I feel like with this King of Cups right here, there's an, uh, there was something unsatisfactory in here. And I feel like someone made a choice to deal with, um, or to, I don't know. Something revolving around this King of Cups, it's like, you choose to keep being a brat and take the slow way to make an offer, but... Then there's the future choice where it's like, yeah, because it's pointing to the past. Ah, this music is like really <laughs> messing me up a little bit. I was not expecting all of the excitement, but it's cool. Um, it's live stream anyway, so I, it's not like I can fast forward. But yeah, it's like in the past, it was like someone chose to be unfair and slow with an offer. Which just pissed this dude off, because it's just like, you either tell me what you want, or what, because I'm totally being a dick and being selfish right now. Like, you're taking your time. And if we're here in the future, it, it's like, if you would have, it, it's almost like if someone would have just worked on it back in the day. Especially with this couple right here that someone walked away from. Um, this tower might have been avoided, I don't know. I'm going to draw another card for you. Not that one, but I will look at this one. Um, Judge McCall. Sagittarius. Movement. 
I feel like there's still a chance for things to happen the way you want them to. You just gotta figure out how to make things move to go. But you gotta remember, it also deals with the tower, so decide wisely. But that's your Shadow of Judgment, Sagittarius. I will see everyone later. I love you. Bye-bye.